Shall we seek some answers? I can guide you to the place arisen, or thereabouts. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the optimum route. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Treasure? Good day, sir. Is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together, but I overslept and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Making our report ought to be our next priority. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose that- It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. It would behoove us not to fall too far behind our guide. Indeed, you are correct.
Battle is best avoided here. Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? Oh. It near boggled the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. To surely any scholar's dream. I suppose tis so. Ne'er seem to end. Hoop. Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. This place is amazing. I knew I'd find something down here, but I never expected this. The books ne'er seem to end. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are less fleet of foot. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. We'll manage. Whatever comes, we always do, don't we? <laughs> Not bad. Perhaps you'd like to take care of the remainder. I concur.
What should I do? Perfect spot for a kid. We are never My days are spent in solemn reflection. Got something for me? You can't hear me complain about... I was a tad incautious in my travels this time. A horde of goblins got the better of me, if you can believe it. A good sleep does wonders. Come. We've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? I fear I must attend to my prayers. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let's see. What can we do without?
have a round. There's a ladder here. Much appreciated. What's to be done about this? Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left off the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom, for in the midst of his answer, he'd doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense, to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled, to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. <laughs> gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious where ventured a Who oh, are you there? Your presence is requested at the tavern this evening. Who's the one requesting? I didn't ask. It is none of my concern. The fellow said aught about the usual place. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? I'm always willing to lend a helping hand. Well, that's rather put me out. Well, we're so well, we've got goblins. We should be wise, but we ought not let it halt us in our course. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I knew that I could count upon your strength arisen. That's what I like to see. Were you not listening? The tavern, tonight. Now you know you can leave me in peace. I don't have all date. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay. We have found a material. Different combinations of material. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the world.
Foxcarts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most convenient, though they only travel during the day. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. So... So... Twas not to be. Tis no... Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Hasten home, were this not my duty. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. I. this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are Arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. Oh. 
Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, Maya's might can be hard. Yes, sir. Ah, forgive me. If that's not the case, you will have to excuse me. Over here, if you would. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our master's wishes. I can scarcely see a thing in this world. Oh, what does this say? A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. With the aid of Sir Kendrick and his helper in locating certain documents, I believe I finally grasped the true nature of this place. It was a royal library that was sealed off by a sovereign of some generations past. In a bid to pass the throne on to his own descendants, this sovereign attempted to consign our kingdom's histories to oblivion. Alas, it would seem that, no matter the age, the avarice of those in power is all but guaranteed. Yet, tis clear it serves them not. Almost laughably so. What can we learn from this? Those who make light of history are doomed to be crushed under its heel.
protect my magic, imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Oh, did it pertain to the Queen Regent and an important personage, perchance? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Over here, if you please. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Night time already? I thought it was rather dark. Shall we check our packs and be off? Ready to forge on? Just as planned. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty. I bear word from Regent Ken Spen, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard. A minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's Chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray, use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. He thinks our travels will progress smoothly on this occasion. Asian? It would seem we even need to visit the palace. Shall we make for Burnworth Palace? Let us make for the palace that you might investigate Minister Allard's chambers. I can accompany you to the castle entrance, Master, but no further. 
The vanguard is yours. Lead on. Beg pardon, sir, but might I have a moment of your time? I've a proposal to make, and methinks you'll want to hear it. See, a friend of mine has an empty house, but no use for it. And I see you round the inn rather often. Understand, wouldn't come free, mind, but the price is a fair one, and you'd have a place to call your own. What say you? Well, you needn't decide this very moment. As pawns are not permitted within the castle, I will bid you farewell when we reach the entrance. Over here, if you please. We're here, and none the worse for wear. Do you know how long you'll be? You are the Arisen. Yes, follow me. The minister would be more careful. He takes the sentinel posted outside his chambers with him everywhere. Have you heard the news? The new recruits are to be sent out to Mel. Mel, I say. I was in the right state when I saw the door on guard. I'm sure. <laughs> Still, I suppose there's not much to worry about. It's beyond it's not my as if we let thieves. Business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour. I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the regent kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. I will return presently.
surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, Your Grace, would be better discussed in the presence of your mother. Recognize you. Guards, intruder. It seems you've made a discovery regarding the false sovereign. Is it? How convenient. We ought to put it to good use. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim, I know this sigil well. It is the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, it is clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of more. At any rate, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, can we begin to thwart it, and ere it slips my mind, pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Phasus. Well, there's a name to remember. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth cons- This ox cart's bound for mail. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due.
not good will come of this. Whatever am I to do? I'm a goner. That's my magic scroll to an elemental room. You must cleanse yourself of that oil for the case. I did my best to match your skills, Master. You're not meant to be in here. Halt! This village is under the direct authority of Her Grace the Queen Regent. We are to grant no unknown person's entry. Off with you then. Think you can sidle in like you own a place? Off with you then. Glad we understand each other. You may pass. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Be gone from here if you value your life. Suppose I'll have to manage by myself then. You. That's enough. It hurts. Give it up. You've nowhere to go. There must be some way out of this. There must be some way out of this. Just let it end. I don't want to think anymore. Stop running! The tyranny of the Queen Regent's faction knows no bounds. Passage into and out of the village is restricted, and we're being treated as slaves. I had intended to endure it till Ulrika returned to us, but I fear the villagers have already reached their limit. I'll be honest with you, as you've earned my trust. We've a mind to leave this village for good. 
The dragon's flame has devastated the land here. Many of the villagers question whether it is worth attempting to restore it. When I mentioned as much in a letter I had smuggled to Ulrika, she told me that the village she's staying in would be glad to take us in. Only problem is how we're going to get past the soldiers. They've confiscated all weapons to forestall our escape. Perhaps if we could reclaim the stolen weapons or find a means of procuring some anew, we could force our way out through strength of arms. Alas, we villagers are kept under constant watch. It would be unwise for us to attempt aught on our own. You are our only hope in this matter. Pray, lend us your aid. Hail! I've not forgotten what you did, helping me save my brother. Would that I could return the favor. But we've a bit of a situation here, if you haven't noticed. Our weapons are being kept in yon storeroom, with those cowards stationed in and around it, day and night. Say, mayhap we could distract them. Then someone could slip in and... Are you mad? We're simple villagers. No match for trained soldiers. But I suppose someone's got to act. All right, how's this? We'll draw the guard's attention, giving you a chance to sneak in and get our weapons back. You'll do it then? Right! You wait here. We'll have him away from his post in a trice. Just you watch. My aim is true. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. There. You'll clear off if you know what's. Are we leaving already? Bother. I was just getting warmed up. Stay with me, Elizabeth. Wait a moment. What do you think you're doing here? Halt! I grant you lightning span.
Prepare yourself! There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. How are you faring? Have you been able to procure any weapons for us? You've reclaimed our weapons. Well done, sir. I am certain the other villagers shall be glad to arm themselves with their weapons of choice. My thanks. I'd wager we stand a fighting chance now. The time has come to leave this village behind. I've got you cornered, Rat. Don't fret, I've got you. With me! and regroup. You have my gratitude for all you've done on our behalf. We'll make for the village Ulrika staying in on our own from here. If I were you, I'd leave this place before reinforcements arrive. At any rate, this is where we part ways. But if you're er of a mind to visit, know that we'll welcome you into our new homes with open arms. Till then, farewell. If I were you, I'd leave this place of... At any rate, this is where we part ways. But if you're a... Uh, 
Mayhap you'll think this a trifle, but one master I served was quite the carefree soul. armor in all its forms. Now there's a thought. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? In another world, I learned that a forgotten riftstone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 